so here I have my pattern pieces and I like using old mock-ups and scraps and stuff to use for new mock-ups so that I don't waste fabric so in this bag right here I have a whole bunch of muslin scraps and I'm gonna fish through them to find which ones will work best. The mock-up should be in the knit fabric, but I don't have any knit fabric to use, so I'm just going to use this muslin I have, and I'm going to find the fit using this this uh, plain muslin I have. Now, you could, if you don't have any extra knit fabric laying around, you could, for like a doll's size, you could use old t-shirts because they're made of a knit, jersey knit generally, but I don't have any t-shirts I want to sacrifice, so I'm just going to use what I have. Now, in my fashion classes, I was taught that you only have to do one sleeve for the mock-up, so I'm going to stick with that for this, because that means you use less fabric, and saving fabric is always a good thing in my book. Now I'm just going to cut these up. So first things first, I'm going to sew the side, side front, and center front together along the seam. No, oh, hey cutie. No. Hi. filming. Cool. Mm -hmm. I love you. You're a good boy. Yep. <laughs> I got work to do. So first things first, I'm going to sew the center front seam right here because I didn't cut on the fold in the mock-up cutting process, so we're just going to remedy that. I'm going to use a quarter inch seam allowance, and I'll just factor that in when I'm taking my adjustments for the mock-up.
So here I have the dress sewn. I'm leaving the center back open. So the center front panels, center front, side front, side back, center back. Now, sorry, but my seams, some are going out on the outside of the garment, some are going in the inside of the garment. It's very difficult to sew muslin, and because this is a mock-up, I'm not going to rip them all out just to sew them together again. So not that I have all of the bodice pieces sewn together, I'm going to sew the side seams, and I'm going to do an inserted sleeve rather than sewing the sleeve on and then sewing up the side seam, because that's the more technical way of doing it, and I'm out of practice doing it on small scale. I'm used to doing it on large scale. So generally when you sew, you sew... You sew the front pieces, and then you sew the back pieces, and then then you sew the shoulder seams, and then you sew the side seams. I'm doing that kind of out of order because I had to figure out if I was going to sew this seam or not. I decided to sew it because I can always pin the cowl drape part to the mock-up rather than figuring out how to sew into the mock-up. Right now I want to make sure that the sheath dress fits my doll correctly. So now I have the mock-up shoulder seams sewn, and I'm going to work on the sleeves. Now, for the sleeves, this little pattern piece, so the underarm seams right here, and then you sew this in. Now, on such a small scale, generally you would hem the bottom of the sleeve before you sew it, because it is very difficult to access such a small area. But I'm not doing that because it's a mock-up, and you don't have to do that on mock-ups, which is why I love sewing mock-ups. <laughs> don't have to do any of the finishing details, which I find quite tedious, personally. <laughs> so what you just saw me do was put this ease stitch into the sleeve cap right here. This ease stitch. It's uh, just a gathering stitch, and that allows me to pull the cap, sleeve cap of the sleeve, to fit the arm side. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pin, I'm going to pin the sleeve into the arms eye. So for people who are not familiar with putting or setting in a sleeve, uh, you put the sleeve right sides out inside the arms hole, arms eye, and that's wrong sides out. And then you put it in, and then you pin it all along the edge. And you pull the ease stitch so that it fits in. Now I don't have a tripod, so I'm going to have to get back to you. So now I just gotta press my mock up. I've got it all stitched together. I got the sleeve inserted. Now, I will admit that the sleeve is not very good. It's barely being held on. I have, I sewed this, I put in this E stitch at quarter inch seam allowance. So I know that it's not on the seam. But I'm going to give this a quick press, and then I'm going to take a look at it after it's pressed. So I just gave my mock-up a nice good press, and now I'm going to pin it to my doll. We'll see how that goes. Okay, so now I got mock-up pinned on the doll. And it fit, which is nice, which means it's big enough to put on her. But because this will be a knit fabric, I have to put negative ease in, which means taking out extra fabric so that it is tight to the body. So I'm going to start with putting, fitting the bodice, and then we'll move to the sleeve. So whenever you do a fitting, you always need a pincushion, a seam wrapper, and a marking tool of some kind. 
The pins are to take out ease, the seam wrapper is to put in ease, and the pen is to make any other adjustments that might need to be changed. For example, a style line. For this dress, we have a mid shoulder princess seam, and you can see that it starts curving right here. Well, that's too high in my opinion, so I'm going to move that down about half an inch. And the next thing I see is that this has way too much ease. So I'm going to take a pin and fur a fitting on a real person, you always use safety pins because you don't want to stab any of your customers or actors or whatever. So I'm just going to take a pin right here and try that. Now this is about a quarter inch here and a quarter inch here, so it's a total of half inches. And I'm also going to take it out on this half. Now the pattern only has one half is one half of the garment. So I'd be taking out half inch total. Now I like the width of this center panel. That's good to me. And I like the length. But remember we have one inch of hem here. So the actual hem is right about here. So I think I'm gonna add a quarter inch to the hem so that it hits where I want it to hit. So I'm going to put one quarter. The next problem I see, I'm going to take this off. It's kind of good. The next problem I see is that this arm side is way too far out. Her shoulder, the ball of her shoulder, is here, which means this should end here. So I am going to make a mark right here. Well, actually, I'm going to move it out a little bit. I think that's too close. I'm going to put it right there. And remember, we have a quarter inch seam allowance right here, so this neckline is actually going to be right about here, which is an okay neckline, but in my picture, it's a little wider. So I'm going to bump this out by a quarter inch, and the neckline in my drawing is also a little higher, so I'm going to, I want to bring this up about three-eighths of an inch, so I'm going to put three-eighths right at the neckline. I don't know if it's going to get loose. I think it also needs to be taken out about a half inch at the hip, so I'm going to put another pin right here. should take care of that. And now I'm going to reshape the arm side. I want this to be this. I'll come down right through here. Okay. So this means that I will be moving this seam over so that it's split more. So there's going to be a lot of adjustments I might have to make another mock-up. So these right this right here is called these are called drag lines which if you follow your drag lines you can generally tell where the problem is. So right here it looks like we're gonna have to open up this back arm side too. So I'm gonna take my line right here and I'm gonna follow it down and around make sure that that is nice and open. Okay. Now we're going to tackle this sleeve. Now this sleeve has a lot of extra ease in it. So I'm just going to take this and I'm pin it off. Again, the fabric I have is a lot of stretch, so it won't matter how tight it is. Now if I was going to make this 
dress out of a woven fabric. I could not have it this tight because her hand will not fit through this small hole. And since I sewed this incorrectly, I'm just going to take this out and pin it up so that it isn't changing the mock-up. So now I have more extra here, so I'm just going to take another pin and I'm going to pin this off. I'm going to take another pin and I'm going to pin this off. Now, the problem with this is that all of this excess is being taken off on this side and the seam is on this side, so I'm going to have to transfer it over here so that the seam takes it out so when I sew it, it's taken out there. So I'm going to unpin these guys. Well, that means I could either make this a two-piece sleeve and take the ease out here so they'd be a, there would be a seam here, or I can unpin it and put all, all of the pins on the under uh, underside of the sleeve, which is what I'm going to try to do. We'll see how that goes. Now in my mock-up, this sleeve comes to a point, so I'm going to draw that point on this pattern piece right here. So I'm going to draw it from here. Well, I want it to end right there. So I'm going to draw it from there around the wrist to right there. So I'll do the same over here. Okay, so that's going to come to a nice point to our finger. Let's check the back neckline. The back neckline is good. Okay, I think that's all the measurements we need or the adjustments we need. So thanks for watching my mock-up making and mock-up fitting video. Uh, my next video is going to be about transferring all of those notes to the pattern and cutting it out. Okay, thanks for watching the video again. Uh, I guess see you in the next one. Bye! Not gonna leave me hanging, are you? No? Go boy. I love you. Can I ask our viewers to subscribe? Please? He said please. <laughs> Thank you. Bye.